Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. We're going to be looking at silver. Now, there's been a massive breakdown in the US dollar, and as a result, a lot of commodities are breaking higher, and silver has been one of the more pronounced ones of those. And so we're going to look at some of the causation in terms of the silver breakout and whether it can sustain itself. So the biggest factor here that we're looking at in commodities markets is just the fact they're denominated in US dollars. So in the latest FOMC meeting, uh, Chair Yellen and the rest of the Federal Reserve Board have basically scaled back their growth and inflation forecasts, also scaled back they, uh, what uh, they think the uh, interest rates will be in the US at certain periods in the future, the end of 2015, 16 and 17. Um, all implying that interest rates are going to be lower for longer and may not get uh, hiked for perhaps a couple of months later than previously thought. So that's, that's all ended up being rather negative for the US dollar. And it does actually just correspond with uh, the US dollar index around that 100 round number level. And we're seeing some selling off there. And we're seeing uh, commodities like silver and gold rallying off uh, close to multi-year lows. Now, it's worth just thinking about silver individually and some of the reasons you might be interested in silver. It is historically an alternative to fiat currencies like uh, the US dollar. It, gold and silver used to be used as coins, obviously. And in absolute times of turmoil, you know, investors will look to, um, look to silver coins. Now, you may say, well, we're not really in turmoil right now. We're in record highs for stock markets. That shows real investor enthusiasm. But you do have to keep in mind that global debt levels are increasing, um, particularly with the likes of quantitative easing um, from the uh, European Central Bank, lots of money being created, um, debt securities being bought at uh, massive levels, even at negative yields. And so all this increase in debt does risk, um, uh, bring in extra risk into the financial system. And at some point, there's going to be demand for these safe haven assets like silver. Now, you may have noticed that this commodity snapshot is actually a day later than it normally is. And um, it does mean that we're a little bit behind on the party in silver. Um, but I'm going to show you this chart here and show you this downtrend line breakout and show you exactly what's happening and where we can move from here. Now, you can see that uh, silver ran into its uh, base of um, early 2015, uh, late 2016, around this 1550 level. And it, um, it did kind of spike below on a couple of occasions, but just wasn't quite able to make much headway on the downside. And then we had this downsloping trend line, uh, which came in just below the sort of $16 per ounce level. And so following this uh, FOMC meeting, we saw silver break out. It pushed up to $16 per ounce, broke through and closed above this declining trend line. And in the subsequent couple of days, we've seen a major breakout with today being probably the most prominent example. And we're almost up to 17. We're, we're currently just below 17. And you can see that's the, the prior peak that we're running into that um, was the third connected peak in the, in the declining trend line. So, so here is some potential resistance here. So got to be a bit cautious going forward. Um, but the break of this downtrend line does suggest that we've moved out of this de um, sharp decline that we were in and at least into a sort of sideways type mode and possibly into an uptrend. And so I think possibly um, an area of interest will be when we move back down to $16 again, that will be pivotal. If we move back below again, then we could just be in sideways markets or that could be the end of the correction. But if we do hold around there, and it's suggestive that we could be sliding around, uh, sliding around into, a, into an uptrend for silver. That's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We're looking at silver, obviously, and really the key determinant here is the, the US dollar. We've got quite a big week next week in terms of uh, releases from the US. Uh, we've got CPI data, GDP data, and durable goods data, all of which will be pushing the dollar around. And the dollar probably after this last FOMC meeting will be a bit more sensitive to any negative data. So should these data's, uh, data releases miss, you know, that could exacerbate this, this trend higher in silver.